Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna start it off by um, introducing you. You'll I'm cover. doing this video is with William Lin. So I, yeah, how long have you been doing competitive programming? I've been doing it for a bit over three years. Are you like a grandmaster or something like that? I think I am. I I think that not only am I a grandmaster, I'm also an international grandmaster. How old are you? 18 years old. I started off when I saw this email from Hacker Inc. It told me to join the contest. I had, I had no idea what to expect, but um, the contest was two days long, so uh, it wasn't like a two hour code forces contest. So I got time to mess around with things and like actually understand what was going on. So, dude, that's pretty crazy. Three years. I mean, do people, yeah, I don't know. That's there weird. Have been... Like, do people in chess, do they play chess for three years and just become the best? Or well, you have to I'm do not... it a long time, usually. Uh, the first thing is that uh, competitive programming is not as well developed as other um, other like things such as chess. So, and there's also this yeah. initial barrier of entry, which is really high. So, not only do you need to know how to program well, you also need you also need like to be able to think logically and like to solve. Um, puzzles and that type of thing. You've been coding for longer than three years though? Yeah, like over nine years. Jeez, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I always see like my one friend, he started coding when he was like 12 and like he had all these crazy accomplishments, like a job offer from Facebook when he was like 16 and stuff like that. And I feel like when you, if people that start coding when they're really young, just like something about that, like you just get good so fast. It's kind of like that's how, pretty cool. It's kind of like how you need to learn a language when, like how you need to learn an actual language when you're young. In the future, like it'll probably be important for, like education on programming to start like start younger. at like a young age. Yeah, you've like placed really high in some of like the bigger competitions, like the one the one you posted on YouTube. What was that? Google Kickstart. Yeah, that was Google Kickstart round A. So, like. These rounds, there are eight rounds per year, and Google uses them to, I guess, like select, to, to select people to hire, maybe. But uh, to be honest, since these rounds are for hiring, like the top competitive programmers usually don't do these rounds. Do you like to practice a lot? You used to do these problems like every day. Yeah, basically, uh, every day if you have. Free time. I mean, if you have much more time and you set your you set your goal lower, then you probably don't need to. Um, yeah. You probably won't need to practice as hard. I was just. Yeah. You no, know, I, I was just uh, kind of bored. Uh, like ma many high schoolers, they like some of them will have a lot of time to do these, which is why, um, which is why high schoolers seem to be like really good. In reality, it's just that adults have things to take care of. When did you start doing YouTube? I started doing it seriously like six months ago. Dang, dude, 127,000 subscribers. I saw a bunch of your videos that were really cool. And you just got into MIT. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I think uh, one of the other ones that was really cool is the one you did with um, Clement on his channel. Oh yeah, the, the mock Google interview. Yeah, that was really cool too. I think so that if was... you guys don't know about him, Definitely go check his channel out. I'm gonna like link it in the description. But yeah, tons of accolades. We're basically gonna do some coding challenges today. He's an international grandmaster. I've done about five problems on Code Forces. So we're gonna compete against each other and uh, I'm excited to see how this goes. Yeah, it's a totally fair fight. Maybe I should give you a handicap of some sort. Yeah, dude, like don't, solve it for 20 minutes <laughs> um, i'm not sure that'd be enough. no i don't know i want to i want to try as hard as i can i you know what guys i think i'm gonna win honestly so you should always have uh, that's a you know lesson always have faith in yourself so i believe i'm gonna win we'll see what happens well we're about to see that lesson just not work <laughs> <laughs> i don't know maybe yeah. it actually does work uh -oh. just surprise <laughs> me i guess get ready to lose <laughs> I doubt that. All right. So, um, here we go. I mean, that's it. I guess we're just going to start and, start now. um, ready, set, yeah. go. Go. I'll mute my microphone now.
Okay, okay. Okay, this should be fairly straightforward. I'm just typing my template right 200 now. 200 MB. Right, you should probably meet your side just in case you like say something which gives me information. I'm Maybe, not worried about that, dude. Not that it will actually help, but okay. So I just have to input these two numbers and then basically do the simulation. How many full years will? So we start at like zero years. That's our answer. And then while A is still less than equal to B, we want A to be greater than B. We uh, A triples, B doubles. We add one to the answer. I'm not even going to compile because this is such an easy problem. If I if this doesn't if this doesn't like pass. If this doesn't compile, then maybe I should consider quitting. Oh, okay. Well, that was oh, that was kind of slow, but I yeah, I still finished it. You finished? What? I barely even read it. It was like fourteen lines of code. For me. How did you understand it so quickly? How did you even? This is one skill I didn't realize I had. Be being able to read problem statements fast. It probably came with like a lot of practice. Yeah, you must just like have some crazy pattern recognition or something. Or I don't even know, dude. That's actually like. Do you All want right. Me to well... explain or do you want to just uh, try your luck on another problem? Dang. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do another one. That seems it almost it seems pretty hopeless. Really? Where did your faith go? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. I, I have no faith. You destroyed my confidence. I definitely don't think that there's any use in even trying another problem. That's just going to like, I, I yeah, that, there's no, I have no sliver of hope. I guess um, that's basically the end of the video because I don't want to, you know, be humiliated any further. I guess I would just ask like, what are your goals as far as, um, what are you gonna do, dude? You got like a crazy setup right now for like an 18 year old. Oh, that's always a tough question. Like, I don't even know. I, there, there, there's some um, few obvious options out there for me, like becoming software engineer and then maybe I could sure. end up like uh, doing research. These two, I think, are kind of common for for other people who had similar uh, who who had a similar skill set that I do now, and like those two are kind of what they've been doing. Yeah, that's kind of cool. There's, so, I mean, dude, you have so many options. I mean, you're going to like the best school. You're already a international grant. You're like one of the best competitive programmers, and then now you have YouTube. Like YouTube is also cool, you know. So there's like a lot of choices, um, but I'm excited. I'm dude. I'm excited to uh, see whatever you're gonna do. I mean, it seems cool. So. And you guys who are watching, I hope you enjoyed. You know, basically just watching me lose. Once again, go subscribe to him channel in the description. And like, I think you know you're probably gonna do like a lot of cool stuff, dude. All right, peace.